What's going on YouTube? How's it going? It's your boy Ep your right, Snipes here with TKO Gaming and yes, this is level 34 House of Wolves Prison of Elders God you guys this is the final boss room and I gotta tell you one thing that There is a cheese Spot I guess you could say it's not really a cheese spot because it's in the game mechanics You're not really doing anything out of the ordinary You're just utilizing a safe spot and that is this spot right here Now it's not the safest of spots because you guys are gonna see us die, but it is very very effective as you guys can see this big ass dude um, pretty much sets the ground on fire and it's like hot potato with your feet and you have to jump up and down up and down up and down and then you'll die but the best way to do it we figured out because we were three hunters now if you're a titan or a warlock there are some awesome awesome perks you can use like the chris angel floating in midair for a long time on the warlock and the titan um boost where which pretty much just sticks you to the ceiling for a while um, with the hunter we notice I mean you could do it with the blade dancer but in that spot it works best if you're a gunslinger using the triple jump because that way if you time it just right when he says that he's about to rage you jump up and then you um, right before the ground gets on fire and then you just time it so you jump up and then boom right before you hit the ground you do your second jump and that way you utilize it and you don't die as you guys can see I did not die this time very very happy about that I gotta tell you guys something me and my buddy candids we two man it was the first time we ever played it we two man it all the way up to this boss right here and look at this guy trying to kill me oh how to clutch revive and get out of here remember guys utilize those revives those shields that you guys get they are clutch to have uh, and you guys will see that we uh, right when he would was about to rage we would pick uh, the person that's dead up so we can get the extra overshield to then help us later on because I am doing this with my younger brother TKO eminent and he is a level 32 because he just got on and he was like alright let's get this done so it was pretty you know it wasn't too difficult with the spot guys so please utilize it as soon as you guys go through the original gates you go straight to the left and you utilize this double jump feature don't be scared to just crouch behind those barrels my other videos I have videos of level 28 and level 32 strategies and I do that with the blade dancer to show you how awesome the invisibility perk is but for this particular boss which is the level 34 a uh, boss who pretty much just sets the like, Ur Urok Urzok. I don't even know his name, guys. I'm just so tired because the grind was so real. Let me know. Did you guys get to level 34, level 33, or what? Um, it's pretty simple. For those of you who may not know level 33, you just need one uh, exotic to be ascended to light 36, and then you need uh, the armor core pretty much that gives you uh, one more piece of armor that's uh, light 42 which will get you to light level 33 and then um, you need two more uh, etheric lights which you can get from beating 34 and 35 prison of Hel uh, elders prison of elders and or the nightfall get lucky which I got the worst drops in my nightfall man I got like the dragon's breath and then i got like hard light are you freaking serious dude i was so pissed i was i was really butthurt about that but a couple of my friends got strange coins and i just died laughing that they got that but yeah gallahorn 365 ascend that's your gallahorn whether it's a 300 gallahorn 331 gallahorn get it to 365 and own this guy absolutely own this guy you guys can probably tell i am a bit tired because of the long long day of grinding and streaming as you guys know i stream my brother streams you guys like beatboxing and awesome gaming and competitive gaming um that's all located on our twitch channel at twitch.tv slash real tko gaming uh the link is in the description below uh, if you haven't gone there, just go ahead and go and hit that follow button. It really helps a lot. Um, sharing this YouTube channel around helps a lot. To give you guys a little bit of an incentive, um, I did, you know, set up. You guys, most of you guys know that I have a PS4 giveaway, 
at 10,000 subscribers at YouTube. We're past the 6,000 mark, guys, and I thank you guys so much for all the support and sticking around. A lot of you guys are absolutely amazing, amazing, amazing fans. I love seeing your messages on Twitter, on Xbox, and all the encouraging words you guys say. Even the haters, thank you so much. I really do appreciate you guys because, I mean, at least you're taking the time to watch my video and or message me, so thank you. But yeah, you guys, the more I see people active and sharing the channel around, the more that makes me, you know, really see that, man, this, I really enjoy doing this and I, I love that I can help you guys out. So, well, there, I died again, but the smart thing, oh, another thing I forgot to mention is that you guys may not be aware of this, is if you stand in the spot, I don't know if it's just this spot or everywhere in the map, but this guy has abilities like Atheon and he'll just teleport you from one place to another so as you can see our, our teammate got teleported and he has to run all the way back uh, and get to us so that he could revive us but don't panic guys the good thing is even if you die on the last final boss round you'll only have to restart that round you don't have to restart the whole level 34 uh, prison of elders anymore now I do want to let you guys know that I should be having two mans of level 34 level 35 coming out maybe even a solo um, today I didn't go to work so I was able to actually upload a lot of videos as you guys saw I bombarded your sub box with my videos and I apologize for that if any of you guys didn't like that but I mean imagine if I could just do this full time or twitch full time I love gaming I love helping people out so it would be something that oh and beatboxing obviously but I would love to do all, all that for you guys um, so thank you guys for all you guys who checked those videos out um, I have I think they're pretty helpful if for anyone that's just starting in the House of Wolves grind. Uh, it should help you guys out a lot. Oh, and right here we did chain our supers a little bit with Golden Gun. Because the last modifier for the final boss on level 34 is increased solar damage. So that's why we have all these solar weapons on. And, you know, make sure that you guys come prepared and just destroy the Prison of Elders, guys. I, I really want to take this time to thank Bungie for coming out with something that I was see well there you go I get teleported but um Bungie did come out with something that that pretty much su surprised me really I wasn't expecting this to be um it's not too difficult but it's it's pretty innovative I liked it personally I liked it I want to know what you guys think do you guys like Prison of Elders I think this is way better than the Dark Below expansion um but that's just me and I do, I do think it's a little too easy to get to level 34 uh, in this because I, I think everyone by next week will be 34 no matter what and if you're not I don't know what you're doing wrong you may not be playing this game but I mean thank you Bungie but I had to go teabag him because I was so pissed because me and Candace got here to here to this boss two manned two manned all round one two three and four for level 34 and then I get weaseled and then I got weaseled I was like okay well I gotta restart my Xbox because Candace is still in there I gotta come back well, I get back online to see if I can join and he invites me and I try to join him and it says, no, you are not allowed to join this player because their activity is about to end. Try again later or soon. I'm like, what the heck? The activity is about to end because of me. I was in that game for four rounds where we took care of level 34 as we were both level 33s and we took care of that. And now we're at the final boss. We know what to do. We know how to kill him. And you're going to weasel me, Bungie? Man, that upset me a lot. We had to just scrap that and we had to redo it all. Uh, and then we were just here. Just, we're like, might as well just do it with three people. Get it out of the way. Um, I do have those rounds recorded. But, I mean, honestly, I think the goal will be to do it on level 35. Because I think it's a little too easy on level 34. Tell me what you guys think. Here is some end game loot in the Aladdin Genie room where you get to open all these things up, get your etheric light, and I got the hand cannon. Let's go. I think it's a hand cannon. Yeah, it is. Whatever. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't done so, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.